Righto, so we're going to share our Google Slides presentation with our families and our students via Seesaw. First of all, once you've got everything finished, uh, what I suggest you do, if you're doing for the whole presentation, make sure you've got the first slide selected, and then come over here to share. And what we're going to want to do is change this link here. So we're going to change that, and we need to go ahead and come down here to more, and we're going to say anyone with the link. So that means we can share it with our families. We don't need to worry about them having a HIS Google account. So we're going to press save on that. And then we're going to click on this get shareable link. And our link's now being copied to the clipboard. So we're going to go done. Now, because the link is quite long, what I suggest you do is come to a link shortening service like Cutly and paste your paste. No, wrong. Paste your link in here and go shorten. All right, and then you want this link here, so we're going to go copy. All right, then we come across to Seesaw. I'm going to come down to my test class and I'm going to add an announcement. Work out who you're going to send it to. So in this instance, I'll send it to the family members. And then you can send now. Now, here's the other thing that you can do with Google Slides. This is an add-on. You can actually choose a specific slide and the ID or the link for that that you get is unique to that slide. So if you share this link, when the person clicks on it, it's going to come directly to slide number seven. All right, and the last thing, uh, you would also do those same steps when you assign an activity. So remember, it's important, particularly if you are in kindergarten through to grade five and you've got students with multiple classes, that you also assign activities rather than just asking students to free post into Seesaw. All right, that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Later.